So I did a post last week about Murphy's Law and everything that can go wrong does go wrong. Now, I want to start off before I get to the reason why I'm at the back of the bus today is you always got to keep on the positive side. No matter what the things are going wrong, my mother used to always tell me in my life different things that would seem like this is a disaster. Now what am I going to do? And she always said, Kathy, it's not the end of the world. She goes, how many times in your life have you come across a point where this is disaster? But in the end, it didn't turn out to be a disaster. Um, in the end, it ended out working better in the long run for me. Maybe it put me on a different path. Things work out. Now, I'm a little more stressed about the delays that are happening to me now because I have someone else, Betty, depending on me to get there by a certain time. So I have to get all this stuff done. Well, Murphy's Law is still happening to me. But I'm refusing to panic. I I've always been a renter. And when I had horses and dogs and cats and I had to move, it wasn't easy finding a rental <laughs> that could take all of us. But whenever I knew I was going to have to move, I started looking way early because I knew it was hard. But I also knew it only takes one. So it was never hopeless. It was just I hadn't found the right one yet. Okay, well, I am going to move that into my situation now. I was getting ready to go get my tires checked. And I learned from pulling horses well, let's just say whenever I pulled horses, I never took off without checking all my lights first. You have a big vehicle, you really can't afford not to have all your lights working. Well, it's the same with the bus. This is a big vehicle. So I checked my lights before I took off to go get tires. And what do you know? I have no tail lights. I have no blinkers. I have no brake lights, I have no backup lights, and I have no backup camera. Now, at first I thought, because I knew my backup camera wasn't working before I knew the lights weren't working, when I just went to move it up here to the by the house, I knew my backup camera wasn't working, and I'm like, oh, great. Now this, who hasn't been juggled and nothing's been got, happened to it, just like the solar panels, suddenly when I go to use them, they aren't working. Well, now I know it wasn't my backup camera. So needless to say, I didn't go get tires. And ever since then, I have been frantically trying to find someone who can look at my electrical system. Now first, I did check all the fuses. That was Justin's idea. I have three places for fuses. One's under the hood, one's under the steering wheel under the dash, and one's above the steering wheel overhead on the side. None of the fuses were blown except for I couldn't check the top two rows that were under the dash because I couldn't get to them. I mean, they're big, thick. I mean, I couldn't get to them, not with the tester, and I couldn't get to them enough to grab them. So those didn't get checked. We also discovered a power charger bank or something, and it's a box under the hood that has all these big square black, I don't know if they're fuses, what they are, but I didn't mess with them. They, don't, they aren't labeled other than by numbers, and I haven't been able to find anywhere that can tell me what those numbers are. So I was first looking for a quick, easy fix. At first, Justin thought it might be just the blinker thing. Of course, we didn't know for sure where the blinker thing is. But when we realized nothing was working, my running lights, nothing back here, but my headlights work. Is that weird or what? But anyway, the search for a mechanic is as difficult as the search for insurance was. But again, I'm just 
keep telling myself, it only takes one, it only takes one. The issues I'm running into is either they don't work on buses, or if they do work on buses, they only work on fleet buses. The mobile mechanics that I've found around here work on fleet buses or fleet semi-trucks, but they do not work on privately owned vehicles. I've come across a, a, a couple of scammers, and since I've already had experience with that, I knew exactly what to look out for. Um, you know, for example, wanting, saying, I'll give you a free diagnostic, I'll come out and give you a free diagnostic, but then I need you to pay me for parts and labor this trip and when I come and then I will come back with the parts and fix it. Well, I'm not paying anybody everything up front. I did that and, and I, I, I've been there, done that, got burned. So, and the couple I did find that would be willing to work on the bus don't have any appointments. Some of them, no appointments until the end of September. Some until up to the middle of November or the end of November. So we're looking at a month to six weeks to eight weeks. And I'm supposed to be in Arizona <laughs> at that time. So I just keep calling. I've been trying to stay fairly local because... I don't want to drive 30, 40 miles with no lights. So I'm trying to keep it fairly close. And the way I'm looking at this is, just like a rental, it only takes one. And chances are, I'm going to find the perfect one. And that's why none of these are working out. Because I'm going, the, the exact right mechanic's going to take care of me and it's going to happen in the right amount of time. So my solar setup that isn't working. I'm going to show you everything and explain the troubleshooting that I tried to do to no avail when Justin was checking out my bus light issues with me, I told him also about my solar system. So he decided to try and troubleshoot it with me. And anyway, let's just go. I have two Dokio 220 watt solar panels. This one is two years old. This one is new and was only used like two or three times last season. Now, they each came with these connector cords. And one hooks up to the solar panel and the other one plugs into the power station. Now, there's only one way to hook these up. going to show you here and they're both identical so there's only one way to plug these in these are the connectors Okay, so they can only get plugged in one way. The other one's the opposite of this. So there's only one way to plug them in. So I can't connect them wrong. And then the other into the power station. Now for me, I'm hoping that they actually work because it just 
need to go down a little. And lo and behold, it's working. Okay, now, just for a note, this is my giant's umbrella, but if I have a power station out here, it keeps it in the shade. Now, it's working now, but let's backtrack. I'm so excited. It's like happy dance time. I mean, Seriously, what a huge, huge relief. Thank you, Justin. When he troubleshot, when, he, when he, I showed him everything, he noticed that all these connections were very loose. I mean, you put them in, but they just, you could just pull them out too. There was no tightness to the connection, which didn't seem to affect it last season, other than if the dogs ran over the cord and they caught a piece of it with their foot, they would disconnect it and I'd have to go reconnect them. So, major, major. I'm so relieved. I was so freaked out not to have solar. How can I travel and keep my power stations charged without solar? Well, I could stop in campgrounds and use shore power to recharge, but that wasn't in my dwindling budget. <laughs> so this is the biggest, biggest relief. Now I have two solar panels. They're all working. I can use my extension cords. I'm back on track. Yes, yes. Just keep putting one foot in front of the other and don't let, don't stress the little things. Health is a big thing. Death is a big thing. All these things are little things.